Hi Librans, how are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for February of 2016 for the beautiful Librans out there for a sun sign, rising sign, and moon sign. How you doing? <laughs> I just got a good feeling about you guys. I don't know. I think you're going to have a good reading. Um, I'm really uh, jubilant and joyful right now. So uh, that's a good sign. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get started. But before I do, really quick, I would like to endorse a friend of mine. Uh, her name is Dina and she does emotion code. So if any of you are interested in emotion code, you can go to her website at www the serendipitycoach.com and read up a little bit more on emotion code. Basically what emotion code is it allows a release of emotional blocks. So if this is something that you are interested in, um, I would uh, suggest you check her out. Okay? Um, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Again, as all of you know, uh, my readings will commence uh, starting on the 27th in two days, and I should have my PayPal button reinstated tomorrow if all goes well. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. The sun, Librans, is in your fifth house. You have illumination about children, creativity, and romance, and this is beautiful for you. So. If you are above board Libran and you are being the best Libran that you can be, your love life, your children's lives, and your creativity is just going to shine. Not only are you going to be talking about it and showing that love and abundance in your in your face, okay, everybody else is going to see it as well. So this is beautiful. The new moon is on the 8th. So on the 8th, you want to set your intentions for what you want in your romantic life, your, your children's lives, and your creative life. Okay? So set the new moon intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. The full moon is on the 22nd of February, and this is in your 12th house. The 12th house is ruled by Pisces. So the 12th house is also a hidden house. So there may be some culmination, some climax, or some uh, uh, ending as it relates to an actual Pisces or somebody that has a Pisces moon, Pisces sun, Pisces rising uh, in your life. Or it could be Piscean characteristics, okay? Psychic abilities, hospitals, healing, uh, research, okay? There's something coming to culmination climaxing or ending in this area of your life. Venus moves on the 16th and she goes from your fourth house to your fifth house. There has been love, abundance, and harmony in your home. You may be making your home a little bit more loving, okay? You may be putting flowers on your table. You may be bringing love into the home. All right, you may be, you may potentially, if you're dating a Pisces, you're going to invite a Pisces over to your home because you may be in love with one of them, okay? So, so just be aware of that, Librans. That's definitely uh, what could potentially be happening here. And then on the 16th, moves into your fifth house. So when Venus moves into your fifth house and you have the sun in your fifth house, your romance, your children, and your creativity is on fire, Librans. This is awesome. Use it to your advantage. Be diplomatic. Be fair. Be loving. Be kind. Be compassionate with everyone around you, your children, your the person you're dating, your wife, your husband, your friendships, whatever it is. Okay, stay above board. If you do, you will get blessings that you did not even know were possible. Okay, and and some of these blessings may come from Pisces. All right, so so just be aware of that. You've got you've got some Piscean energies that are under the surface, and um, they're about to reveal themselves. All right, so so please be aware that that energy is out there for you, and. Um, with Venus in this area of your life, there is love, there is abundance, and there is potential financial gain as it relates to this area of your life. 
Mercury moves on the 13th and goes from your fourth house to your fifth house. So here again, you're talking about it. So after the 13th of February, you may be talking about romance, children, creativity. And up until the 13th, you're talking about home life, family life, your homeland, your, you know, who you are at a core level. All right. So it's beautiful, beautiful. Mars is in your second house of the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, your self-value. You are going to be a lot more aggressive, Librans, as it relates to being paid what you're worth. Okay. If you're working overtime and if you're doing a better job than everybody else, you're going to say it. You're going you're gonna to go to your boss and you're going to say, look, I do, I do the job of five people. I need a raise, okay? And maybe how this happened is there have been, there's been an exodus of people that you work with, so you're having to take on those extra duties, and they're not hiring again, but you kind of work for a small company, and you're saying, like, look, there used to be five people here. There's now only three people here, and the two people that I work with are really kind of a waste of space. So basically, I'm doing the job of five people. So if you go in with that Venus energy, and you are ruled by Venus, going with that Venus energy, you've got that receptive quality, you will get what you're asking for, all right? So be aware of that. Be passionate about it, but don't be too overly aggressive. Um, if you feel aggression coming on, work out, it will be just fine, all right? We have Saturn in your third house of communication, siblings, short distance travel, communications, contracts, negotiations. Saturn here is saying equivalent exchange. Set the commitment. Set the anchor down. If you don't, I will test you and you will have to do it over and over and over again. Okay? You're learning how to communicate that it can bring you what you want in your life. You are learning how to attract people. And you already attracted people. You're a Libra. I mean, come on. I mean, between you and Taurus, you guys are just magnets, all right, of abundance and blessings that come into your life. So here, you have to be discerning, okay? You're learning how to communicate. You're bringing the people in your life that deserve to be in your life. Your siblings are supporting you. Give everybody a chance. No, okay, hold on. They just said this. Um, for some of you, it's time to hold somebody's feet to the fire, and it may be a sibling. A sibling may be taking you for granted, and you're saying, uh-uh, enough is enough, and that's what Saturn wants you to do. Equivalent exchange. They better start, you know, if they're speaking it, it better be a check that they can cash. Because if they're not, if they're not, if they're writing a check that they can't cash, you're saying, uh-uh, enough is enough. You need to move out. You need to stop leeching off of my funds. Whatever it is, you're setting the standard and you're setting the boundaries. Good for you, Libra. Pluto is in your fourth house of transformation. Or the Pluto is the, the Lord of transformation, the planet of transformation. And he is in your fourth house of home, family, homeland, who you are at a core level, how you were brought up, all right? There's massive transformation in this area of your life. Pluto is going to be here for a while. So there is transformation in your home. So be aware of that energy being out there. Jupiter is retrograde in your 12th house. So there is a revisiting, a reassessment of 12th house activities as it relates to a Pisces healing, hospitals, research, psychic abilities, the unconscious, the subconscious, the dream state. You're revisiting something in this area so you can solidify it or you can say, I've addressed it, I see what I'm dealing with and now I have to let it go and just be done with it. Or you will say, I'm revisiting this, I'm reassessing it, I see that it has value. 
I'm going to reclaim it. Okay, I'm going to solidify it. So that could be how this is working for you. Uranus is direct, and this is in your seventh house of partnerships, romantic partnerships, business partnerships. Uranus going direct brings things from of the unexpected at you. When Uranus was retrograde, it was coming from within you. Now it's coming at you, okay? In your seventh house of business partnerships and romantic partnerships or friendship partnerships, there is an unexpected development in this area of your life. So that could go back to you work in a small company, everybody has decided to leave that company and you and three other people are left to do all the work and you're doing most of the work. In fact, you're doing the work of those other two people as well and you're tired of, of, of pulling the weight of everybody else. So unexpectedly, this is happening to you and because of this, you're going to your boss and you're saying, I need a raise. Or, we need to hire more people or I'm out of here and you are going to be flat. Okay, so that could be how this is working out for some of you. All right, Librans, let's see uh, what we've got going on for your general energies for February of 2016. General energies for Librans, 2016, February 2016, February 2016, Librans, whoa. Librans, February 2016, Librans, February 2016. February 2016, Librans, 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 Librans. Oh, there it is. Here's your general energies. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life? Work life and financial life, Librans. Work life and financial life. Work life, financial life. What have we got going on for your emotional life and love life, Librans? Emotional life and love life. Okay. Emotional life, love life. What do we have going on for your um, general health, Librans? General health. general health what is your spiritual advice Librans spiritual advice spiritual advice what is your potential challenge this is something you need to be aware of this is something that may possibly need to be addressed that will be a challenge for you uh, this may be something that you need to steer clear of here's your challenge Okay, Librans, what have we got going on? What are your general energies for February of 2016? Wow, general energies, Librans, you're working hard. This is exactly what I was picking up on before. You are trying to achieve perfection. Um, you, you're at work. For, for some reason, you're working overtime. This is good because you're bringing more money into the family. You're putting more money in your bank account. Okay, for some of you, you are doing work around the home. You are doing home renovations. You are okay. I just heard also that some of you are um, a little bit miffed because there's construction that is going on at your work, or there is construction going on around your home, and it's driving you nuts. Okay, so just be aware of that. It's probably going to last for about another eight months. I'm sorry eight weeks to eight months so so just be aware of that the eight of Pentacles with the eight there it's it's usually eight weeks to eight months because the eight is significant all right um, where's Jupiter for you in your 12th house of healing some of you Librans work at a hospital and there could be construction around the hospital and it's it's causing distractions for you okay because Jupiter started going retrograde on the 8th and we've got the the 8 you know of pentacles here so uh, that could be when uh, that construction started or right around that time and you're just like really 
okay for some of you um, you're just really um, mastering your skills so that you can put more information on your CV so that if you decide to leave where it is you are working you are going to be paid what you are worth all right so this could be how this is working out for some of you this is the general energy you're putting a lot of work into your uh, home life your romantic life your work life okay so and in the life of your children you might be building something with your children like you're building a dog house or something like that that's super cute so um so yeah this is how this could be uh, panning out for some of you so what do we have going on for your work life and your financial life you have the four of swords you are taking a step back Librans and you are deciding how much you're worth you are deciding which investments you want to invest in you are meditating on this you have come out of a time of massive financial chaos for some of you and because of that financial chaos you do decide to work overtime and so now you've got more money in your account and you're just kind of sitting on it because um, you just don't want to spend any money it, it's almost like you went from um, the perspective of for some of you not for all of you probably for about 30 percent of you you went from the perspective of spend 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 and it put you in a position that was not comfortable at all and so now you're like save 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 okay so that could be it for some of you for others of you you are so comfortable with your bank account right now you are like yes I'm finally seeing exactly what I want to see and I'm just gonna leave it alone for right now for others of you um, you are deciding you are in a meditative state of do I want to stay at this job or do I want to leave for others of you as it relates to finances um, you are looking oh okay Librans, some of you, a small percentage of some of you, did in January lose somebody very dear to your heart. Very dear. Could have been a mother, a father, um, a brother, sister, and they passed away. And you are paying off funeral bills right now. And so you're working hard over time, you know, to pay off those bills that you did not expect to happen. Um, or some of you are the um, executor of the estate. Okay, so please be aware of that. For others of you, you are deciding whether or not you want to go into seminary school. Okay, um, that's really beautiful really beautiful um, and you are in that state now of deciding how is it that I want to bring that piece of my life together with all the other aspects of my life for others of you like students uh, younger people um, you actually you you haven't been feeling good because you have been working so hard some of you are going to school and you're actually working a full-time job as well you're tired take some time off all right you, you can you can afford to um, call in sick for one day and just sleep all day uh, for some of you there is an Aries that is significant in your life because they also got the same message of needing to take a break and um, call into work and just say I'm sick but really what you're doing is you're just exhausted and you need to sleep all right so just be aware of that so what have we got going on for your emotional life and your love life Librans whoa Librans looky looky here this is a battle 
that has been won through persistence. You win. But it has been a bittersweet victory. And why do I say that? Because it took you, because of some action that you took in the past, where you were left to your own devices or somebody left you or you left them and you had to meditate and pray on whether or not they were the person that you wanted to keep in your life and you decided yes that is the person I want in my life I screwed up with that and you've been working your butt off to win them over for some of you you're winning through mere persistence the competitors have not stood up to the test of time and you're winning. Okay. The competitors are dropping their swords and they're walking away. And what you hold is you hold all of the intellectual property, all of that effort to win that person over. It's a strong bond. But there's still some conflict that you need to work through first but overall it's still looking good and Librans you are an air sign so you are an intellectual sign you like to keep the balance so you haven't been too impetuous you've just been persistent slowly and surely persistent non-aggressive um, you've been passionate you haven't been aggressive this is really really nice okay and for the most part, I would say, depending upon you know other cards, you know in in the in the lineup here, um, normally this comes across as a victory that you don't even know if you want to win. For a very small percentage of you, this is potentially it. Like you won somebody over, but then you realize I don't really want them, you know, after you get them. But for the majority of you, because you've stuck to it, and because of this rest and the hard work what I'm hearing here is you you win you are actually winning okay so there may be something that um, transpires in May for you as it relates to this win all right so just be aware that that energy is out there for you uh, whether you are single whether you are coupled whether you are divorced whether you are whatever you win Librans you win you did have to work really hard you did have to make more money but for example for those of you going through a divorce um, it's time for you to put down your swords and relax the battle is over it's done your hard work has paid off okay so this could be how this is transpiring for some of you what is your general health Librans strength for some of you Librans out there you are visiting the dentist uh, for some of you you may be uh, getting strep throat uh, for some reason it's okay it, it just get on medication it will pass go to the dentist you'll get it fixed some of you have already been at the dentist and you are feeling better right now you're able to relax for some of you you've been to the dentist and they gave you painkillers and it's like knocking you out <laughs> because they had to go in and they had to extract um, interestingly enough um, I believe the Pisces also got this as well so some of you um, this may be that that Pisces energy that you're sharing you know with your 12th house in um, with the full moon on the 22nd okay so there might be something you know, transpiring with the Pisces uh, around the 22nd uh, of uh, February, uh, between the 8th and the 22nd. Um, you've got two eights here, and the eights are the infinity. So this is uh, whatever you're doing, Librans, you are creating strength around you. You are creating solidarity around you, and it has the potential to last a lifetime. It's just that you need to kind of take a step back and you need to um, you need to put things in order 
and you need to put things back into balance and um, you are going to see that that you emerge the winner I mean this is I, I know the reading overall does not look all that exciting but to be honest with you Librans you don't particularly care to be overly exhausted overly excited or a lot of undulations up and down up and down you like consistency and you like balance and I anticipate that many of you are going to be applauding for February because you finally achieved that calm balanced environment that you've been looking for now for some of you you are doing strength training uh, you lift weights or you're about to embark on lifting weights uh, there's something about strength about your general health and if you do that you are going to be feeling much better and for some of you you've had a hard time sleeping at night so basically what this means is if you start working out start lifting weights you're gonna be able to sleep better at night you're gonna sleep soundly at night okay so so just be aware of that um, for some of you this is hilarious Librans you've decided to embark on a workout routine so you're going to the gym okay you have been mentally keeping track of where everybody is at in their patterning and and where they go as far as their machines go at the gym so what you've done is you have modified your schedule so that when you get there all the machines that you want to work in order are completely free I mean you you've literally made an algorithm out of this it's it's hilarious and, and the reason I say that is because of this right here okay you win you know you get the machine you want to you want to get on at the gym so you can work out and, and you can focus you can get in and get out okay that's awesome all right Librans that's awesome okay so what do we got for your general um, spiritual advice Librans divine connection uh, Librans at that full moon a week before to a week after you are going to start getting psychic downloads through your meditative state possibly while you sleep your answers lie within your dream state for divine connection to answer those questions or to get answers to the questions that you've had okay so that's what spiritual advice is telling you listen to your intuition as it relates to work as it relates to relationships as it relates to family life home life school listen to your intuition it's very strong very strong at the full moon like you're gonna be um, you're gonna just I'm gonna call this person or I'm gonna text this person and you text them, they text you right back and be like, I was just thinking about you. That is how strong your intuition, you're going to be able to read stuff that you can't see. Okay. It's almost like you're going to become Piscean or like psychic a week before to a week after the full moon on the 22nd. Okay. So from about the 15th to about the end of February. All right, you're going to from the middle of February to the end of February, you're going to be you're going to be on fire with your intuition. So pay attention to it. All right. For some of you um if you are married in a happy and loving bond, you are having discussions with your significant other and you're being just a little bit a little bit of a jerk a little bit of a my way or the highway type of attitude and they and you are strong in this one you're you're in the right all right but they may not talk to you for a couple days it's okay just let it go everything will everything will come back all right so just be aware of that okay and actually after the two days of the argument and they walk away um, what I'm hearing here is uh, you may end up with makeup sex <laughs> and it's gonna be really good alright so just be aware of that 
All right, so what do we have uh, going on for your potential challenge, Librans? Joy and gratitude. So, Librans, no matter what happens, put a smile on your face and just be thankful for all that you do have, okay? Because the calm and the peace that you're going to get that you so desperately desire in February is there. Okay? You're tired. You want to rest. You do not want to deal with this hubbubaloo. You don't want to deal with noise. You can't. The noise is just driving you nuts. Just be thankful. Give joy and gratitude. And as you do that, you will achieve your calm and your peace in your sleepy time that you want in order for you to be strong throughout the month of February of 2016. This was a short reading for you Librans. I'm not getting much else out of this. Um, you know, these are the things that you just kind of, the energies that you're, you're just kind of dealing with right now. And overall, though, I just, I feel this um, massive, like, immense, calm, peace, balance, and happiness in your life. And regardless of what's happening outside of you, you're just rolling with the punches, and you're just going with the flow, and you're just, you're not even phased. And you're loving it. <laughs> so it looks good. All right, Librans, there you go. There is your reading for February of 2016. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Take care of yourselves. Much light, much love, and many blessings to you, Librans. Namaste.